on the block punch twice. What do you make of all this movement in conferences? And some belt is changing the game. Oh, you know, I, I I like the Sun Belt Conference. It, it was uh, affordable to us when uh, we needed a conference, and they gave us a home, and we've been uh, loyal members and plan to stay that way. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm not sure that all the, the moves that have been made uh, are going to prove out for all those schools that moved. Uh, but I know that... Uh, you know, Carl Benson and, and uh, our leadership, the presidents, are going to make sure that the Sun Belt Conference is, is a viable league. And, uh, you know, we've had pretty good success against some of those others. And uh, so uh, we're, we're, I know we, we've only got eight football playing teams this year. I think we en enhance that in another year and maybe even get to where we've got enough for a playoff. I'm not, I'm not sure where all that's going. All I know is that every week it's tough when we go to play against a Sun Belt team. Well, you know, I, I, you know, we've, uh, I think we're better than we were. You know, uh, you, uh, we've won eight games in two years. That's a little bit uh, uh, unlike uh, what we've been able to do in the past. And uh, uh, so we, we made some changes staff-wise, and uh, I think they're positive. Uh, they're, they're also painful. And, uh, you know, but those, those uh, changes, I think, have been productive in recruiting and spring ball and all season and discipline and everything that we're doing. And uh, so uh, I look for, and I think we recruited a, a good class and I'm looking forward to plugging in to that group that had a, that I think um, had a good spring. So, you know, uh, we got two senior quarterbacks back. Both of them are good guys and, and uh, can, they're, they're a little different and we're, we're looking at trying to play them both at the same time some. You know, and they're not go not gonna go crazy with that. But um, both of these guys, Corey Robinson and Deion Anthony, are really high quality people, and and uh, and and uh, the way they do things, each one of them are a little different, but they they do it very well. <laughs> well, I'm a little weird. Uh, you know, I've always said that uh, TV rules college football, and I think I'm close to right. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, especially when uh, the Mac started playing on Tuesdays and we started playing some Tuesdays and, uh, you know, uh, it seems like no night is off limits and uh, or no day is off limits anymore. So, you know, I, I just try to make sure that we, we sell our kids on maybe getting a little rest around this particular uh, set up. Uh, there are some setups that are pretty stressful, though. Our first, our first three games, and when, and Conference opener on Thursday night after, after a Saturday game on the road in Jonesboro is not easy. So, you know, we we've got our work cut out for us. But you know, we play on some Thursday nights and a Friday night, and we play in the Georgia Dome. We play a couple of new teams, Texas State. I'm looking forward. to Coach Franchoni is uh, really a good friend. I, and uh, looking forward to all these uh, all these guys that are that are coming into the league, not just this year, but the next year too.